Hi guys, this is Steven Jan M. Gisando and the two traditional Filipino games that I have chosen are the Tugang Preso and the Ubusan ng Lahi. I have chosen these games because these two games are the best for me. It is commonly played by us during our childhood days and this is these games we usually play and when we meet up on our playground and we think of a game and this game would come autom automatically came, came out of our mind and that's why I choose this game because this is the best for me and for the Tumbang Preso this is what I've searched even though Tumbang Preso is a native Filipino game there is no known date as to when it came to be neither it is the creator of the game had known so the children who found it fun would gather with whichever materials they had and start playing the sport its popul popularity has been passed from generation to generation so it's true and until today it still commands significant attention from children and some adults across the globe and while the Ubusan ng Lahi Ubusan ng Lahi was played in different diverse places but most of the time the game is being played in a way that one tries to conquer the members of a group so as I said the more players the better and the game will start with only one eat and then try to find another player and tag them and when he or she and when he or she is being tagged, she will then help the top players until no one participant is left. So the children are innovators of most unique games, who surely would have a way to reinvent traditional games. So likewise, the Japanese period saw the emergence of the pre-game of the game of conquer. So ubusan ng lahi literally means annihilation of race which may have steered memories of Japanese invasion in the Philippines during World War II as it was also known as Bansai from Japanese term for long live as a greeting or patriotic cheer and that would go so uh, Tumbang Preso or Presohan in Luzon or Tumbang Patis or Tumbalata in Visayan region this is one of the most popular Filipino games that commonly played by the children using their sleepers to hit a can at the center. Ubusan ng Lahi, one tries to conquer the members of a group and this game starts with only one eat and then try to find and tag other players. Once one player has been tagged, they will then help each other to tag all the members and until no one no one participants being left this is called bansai or lipunan now i am going to introduce you the benefits of these games so for the august ng lahi it obviously improves your physical and mental health and it will execute an alienation from your home and socialize with other people other kids and it can also help building a connection between the children and their elders then another is it it enhances creativity and promotes better socialization among kids and it will remind us our roots during our childhood then it will obviously strengthen our bonds and also it will improve our intrapersonal and interpersonal skills because we are being to interact other people and also it provides us opportunity in exercising without stress. I mean, no. <laughs> 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 
Ano na? 